kind of an exciting agreement. We're cooperating with Yavapai County for the funding source and get that road 2,300 feet improved. We sign the integrative agreement first and then they sign it second. It's an existing dirt road with lots of traffic. I'm glad we found the funding source and especially Yavapai County to come forward with the funding in order to improve the roadway. We anticipate in the month of August, so it'll be up to the county. It's their lead for the construction, so it'll be up to them. But I understand from discussions it'll be in the month of August. They pay for the construction. We'll maintain it from end of construction. Hundreds of photographs and videos were located on what Kippen referred to as his Obama phone, which he receives free calls and texts. During the arrest, Kippen asked police if they could leave his phone with a friend. After Kippen was booked into jail, his friend accessed the phone and discovered numerous videos of what appeared to be children in various forms of sexual acts with adult males. Detectives, after serving a search warrant on the phone, discovered hundreds of disturbing photos and videos. Kippen II was booked into the YCSO jail, where he is currently being held. Cotton Patrol officers previously arrested Kippen on an outstanding warrant. We're putting some more money into it because, quite honestly, the libraries and with the population and whatnot, we think it needs a little extra money. Plus, we've got the new Paulbin Library going in, so I think it's going to be great for our community. Thank goodness the Board of Supervisors, we lowered the tax rate the last two years in a row. So the tax rate's going down. Now, values are going up for your particular homes, which allows us to lower that tax rate, but also the amount of new construction going on in our community pays into those tax rolls as well. This is pretty much it. We're walking into a great budget. We're balanced. We're good to go. We're going to approve it on Monday. We encourage everybody to come down. Our budgets are looking very, very strong, and we are extremely conservative here at the Board of Supervisors. I didn't feel, and the other board members didn't feel, that that was giving the due time to be able to review the information and have a good cognitive understanding of what it meant. So we said, you know what, let's move it to Wednesdays. Let's skip the Tuesday meetings, because Tuesdays, if we have a holiday, we're in the same boat.